Hey guys, I hope you're doing good today. Sorry about the scary eyeball, but someone had posted on Twitter and I had already mentioned that KJ has a black worm-like thing in her eye, right? Um, I was saying that a couple of videos ago that I did. Somebody else had noticed it and decided to post about it and what it could possibly be. So there is that black worm thing again. And oh, it's just gross. Anyway, so apparently this is what it could be. Parasitic worms, yeah. A rare disease caused by third stage larvae of the nathos, sorry, nathostoma species of parasitic worm, which can be acquired by eating raw meat, ew, or fish from certain areas. If the parasite gets in the eye, it can cause partial or total blindness. Uh, ocular toxoplasmosis, an infection that can cause scarring and vision loss if left untreated, and is more likely to affect people with weakened immune system, <coughs> alcoholics, systems, or newborns. Not nice. Katie, get your eye damn well checked. I don't know what's going on. Yesterday, I started getting more emails. And now, that by this this time, apparently, it's from somebody named Felicity. It says, tell not, do as I say. I won't tell my followers anything, I promise. Just keep saying that this Gmail one is your email, please. I didn't send any threats from it, just that you didn't want to be involved. That's it. None of these are making sense to me. So this was yesterday. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I have no idea. I don't know who Felicity is. I don't... What? You know what I mean? Like, there, what's the point of me being sent these? It makes no sense to me. Then somebody sent me this, and it says that Natalie is someone everyone used as a scapegoat for doing the worst things imaginable, including allegations she created CP. The court of public opinion crucified her, and though she was never charged and cleared legally... By all professionals involved, many still blame her and tried to ruin her life regardless and still do. Many still threaten her daily. People copycat her alleged crimes, too. Kitty has since retracted her YouTube allegations and agreed not to speak on Natalie again. How do I know? I am Natalie. Aurora Night Sky 570. So this is under someone's comment section on a video on YouTube. Like, this... So this, somebody sent me this and they said there's a feisty Felicia, or Felicity, sorry, and this was under the same comment section. They said none of the emails are from Katie, they are all from Nat. She's spoofing Katie's emails. Katie went sent th their th or threats from my own email. Stop being stupid. What? So is that KJ pretending to be Felicity? Like, I don't know, man. This is messed up. Which is weird. I get an email, and then there's a Felicity apparently in the comments. And then another one from Felicity to me. None of, and listen to this. None of the emails are from Katie. They are all from Nat. She's spoofing Katie's emails. Katie wouldn't send threats from her own email. Stop being stupid. Then Nat's Gmail is Nat's email. She's the criminal, not KJ. What the fuck is going on? Oh, and of course, the... Attacks on Miranda and now James are so over the top. It's not even funny. Like, it's just ridiculous. Look at this. James and Miranda have the exact same number of daily followers for the past month. That's not normal and indicative that followers are being purchased. Katie, Katie, seriously, you're going to actually go after them for that? Have you seen yours? You get new followers every Tuesday and a Friday, I believe. I think it's mainly every Tuesday. Yeah. People have been looking up watching you actually because you do purchase subscribers and it has been proven we've seen it right now you're gonna go after them seriously oh my god another one katie this is nikki's email you'll need it for the fbi report i have her address social security and cell number if you need it natalie hasn't responded as of yet do you want me to send her what we discussed pre previously bear who the fuck is bear like Jesse Bear? Oh, Jesse Bear. That's the only bear I can think of. And what's my email? I don't see my email in here at all. I see tips out without a crystal ball. Again and again and again and again. Oh, these are games I wanted to play. I just took a screenshot because I look creepy as hell. I love creepy games. So if anybody's ever played them, let me know. Isaiah Shin rebrands his TikTok account and deletes hundreds of videos. Now he claims that he films. You are so desperate to catch somebody in a crime. There's no crimes. 
You are stalking people. This is just disgusting. Robert Shin allegedly told the dancers that they had to get married. Had to get married. A few of the couples refused to marry their partners. Others just let Robert marry them. And no legal documents were ever filed. Most of the couples weren't interested in getting married when this was forced upon them. Where is your proof? Miranda and James are married. Get over it, okay? Like... You're beyond stalking. Your behavior is atrocious. You need to be stopped. Isaiah Shin deleted 193 videos in the past month from his TikTok. <gasps> Call the police. Katie, have you seen yours? Who gives a shit? Miranda Derrick deleted 120 videos on June 2nd, 2024 from her TikTok. What are you doing? This is like... I don't even know what to call this. Like, I'd be calling the police if I was Miranda James. I'd be like, look, at this chick is obsessed with me. Like, to the point where she wants to wear my skin. Like, the whole Silence of the Lambs, it puts its lotion on its skin. Yeah, that's how far KJ has gone. It's, wow, this is insane. This bullshit. Breaking news. After posting this story, I suddenly had five new followers added to my Instagram, despite the fact that there were no notifications of that mass amount of people actually followed. This has also happened to Exposing 7M. Robert and crew will do this to try to get our accounts taken down. I was able to remove over 1,700 of the accounts. Still over 2K remain. So you literally bought yourself 5K new, new followers to your Instagram and you're trying to blame Robert? Seriously? Get a life. And then someone gave me this from Twitter. And then it says, Nat's on here. So Nat, I believe, is talking to Misty. And she says, hello, beautiful. It's been a while. I figured I'd do this publicly to save someone's people's speculation. Plus, I couldn't find you on Instagram. Have you been? I'm pretty good. Just celebrating E6 heavenly birthday. It was a really lovely day. Then she says, in regards to your post, I got torn between desperately wanting to be heard and to clear my name or not giving a fuck. I haven't sent any emails or spoken privately to Nikki. Erin is the only person I've ever really emailed. We have a way where I show her it's me. So someone's trying to be not. She says, not only Kenneth 34 is not mine. I believe that KJ is KJ. Tips that without a crystal.com is spoofed. Kate wouldn't send threats in her own name. That would be ridiculous. She's not that dumb. I believe the K Katie J.M. Paulson is her troll account. And, oh, there's Felicity. And Felicity Troll YouTube account is her feisty Felicity Troll YouTube account. So, holy shit. So feisty Felicity is KJ? There was a Jackie at 1.2 involved with them. Regarding emails, I've asked someone to call me as it's pretty complicated to explain. You take care of you. This is crazy, you guys. Then another one, message her and ask her, how do I undo my email being the recovery email? I don't know what the fuck anyone's talking about. I don't know. What? Like, whoever this is won't leave me alone. What I do know, though, is it all goes back to Katie Joy Paulson. <sighs> I love hiking. I post an old throwback video of Miranda and James talking about how they love hiking together 18 minutes ago. I love hiking. Robert's so predictable. You need to go to bed. You've got like, I don't even know what you call that brain. Wet brain? Yeah, you got dumb brain. You got something, man. Go to bed. 13 minutes ago, Miranda posted in her stories that she loves hiking. Robert is predictable. You are crazy. Then she goes back to 2022 and says 2022 damage control. Wow. This is how Robert Shin managed damage control in 2022. They created a new account for Miranda. Then she would post videos defending herself. Then one time they had James and Miranda post Q&A to prove the legitimacy of their relationship. She's literally going back to 2022 to prove what exactly? That you're a fucking stalker? Full-blown doxer, harasser, stalker? Like, you are crazy. Please. Call the goddamn police, Miranda. I would. I would be calling the FBI on this shit. And look it. Again, she's got Miranda Derrick, free Miranda Derrick. But remember, it's not about Miranda Derrick. But yet, that's all you post about is Miranda Derrick. You need to get a life and get offline. I can't believe the, the balls that your husband lacks by not telling you to get the hell off. And I don't know, enjoy time with your family. Do something. This is ridiculous. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great night. And I'll see you in the comment section. Bye.